Good evening, everyone. This is GTAS025, and this is my fully modded CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1. I absolutely love this gun. It's probably the my favorite gun that I own. I still love you, Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0. You awesome as well. But this is pretty much my dream gun. Uh, I put a lot into this weapon and I'm making this video to give you an idea of what I did to it. So starting from the brace, this is a SB tactical brace. Um, it folds, it makes it really small. You could fit it in a backpack even with the magazine in there. I usually put it in the backpack when I head to the range and it's an absolute pleasure to have when you're shooting and if you know about the CZ Scorpion, it's a blowback weapon, it's not gas, so it has a heftier recoil than other weapons such as like an MP5 or MPX or, you know, SIGs babies. But this really helps you with that recoil mitigation and stabilizing, uh, embracing the shot of the recoil on your shoulder. So moving on, I kept the factory iron sights on there. There's no reason to take those off. Some people I've seen on YouTube took them off because they put their optics on there. Uh, optics break. I mean, it's always good to have your backup irons on your weapon, no matter what. Uh, speaking of optics, this is the Hollow Sun 510C. It has the solar panel on it, so even if the battery dies, you can still operate the weapon if you have sufficient light and it is a quick detach so if it does fail me i can just hurry up detach it take it off and get back to work as far as the grips go this is the apex tactical grip i've seen a lot of people with the yeti works and the mag pulls and things like that the reason i went with this grip is twofold one i like the grip angle the grip angle is really shallow. It's not so obtuse, uh, I guess acute if you look at this, but either way, it's a shallow grip angle. I want to say it's about a 70 degree grip angle. It has an aggressive texture that reminded me a lot of the texture on the M&P 2.0. And that felt really comfortable to me and you don't want a slippery weapon when you're firing so lastly and this is something that a lot of people don't really think about and i guess i do because i like this but this piece this area right here is very thin so you actually get a much higher grip on the gun on the weapon than you would would say the Magpul grip or the Yeti Works grip because they have that extra piece right here. Now, if I would recommend the Magpul or the Yeti Works if you they if you don't change your safeties because it gives you that lower grip angle. But since I've changed my safeties, which is where we're headed next, you get. To take advantage of the high grip now let's make sure this thing's on safe and it allows you to see why i picked these particular safes safeties from apex tactical so the apex tactical safeties when you're in fire it goes down to a 90 degree angle so it's straight across with the weapon instead of going straight down like the factory uh, safeties. I absolutely love that. 
and it's quick manipulation with the thumb so you don't have to worry about fumbling around you don't lose any grip it's ambi so on the other side of this it's the exact same safety and I've seen the HB industry ones. I didn't really like the design too much, but if you are an AK guy, it's the opposite of an AK. So it it's a movement that you're used to. I wanted a movement that was different from other weapons in terms of safety, just so I know when I have this gun, I'm doing something completely different. So, moving on, we have the HB Industries trigger. This is the Theta Forward trigger. I absolutely love this, and I also have the HB Industries trigger kit in there, which dropped my trigger pull the pounders down from the nine, nine and a half pound trigger pull all the way down to about a four, 3.8 to 4 pound trigger pull on my weapon. I don't have anything to show you that real quick, but my trigger pull is so much better with this particular trigger. Um, I also changed out the mag release. That is the mag pull angle mag release I want to say it's called I don't remember but it keeps the same general aesthetic and the same general function as the original factory um, mag release except it also has the extra piece here I can't think of the exact name right now but that allows you to strip the mag by hand really quickly. But I've seen other mag releases and they'll have that piece, but at the same time, this is really thin. And I actually have one in here and it hurt my finger to use it. So when I found this one, it was exactly what I was looking for. I highly recommend this particular mag release for that reason um this is the manacle arms 32 round uh magazine it has the iron the you know the iron tabs at the top so you don't have to worry about breaking if you have these things fully loaded and you're keeping them around for a while there's stories that people dropped their mags and broke those. And with that, you don't with these you don't have to worry about that. But I will say that loading them, watch your thumbs, because it's pretty sharp. But totally worth it. Up top at the grip we have the O light. I want to say this is the Valkyrie Mini, about a thousand six hundred to a thousand lumens. Um, has a pressure pad on the other side. So this extra light. This is my home defense weapon. So if I'm going around the house and I need to see what's in front of me. Obviously, that's what the light is for. I uh, have the HB Industries extended charger right here. Um, the factory one is fine. And even though I like the size of the factory one, it is a bit of a pain in the butt to charge the weapon with it. So... I just got a longer one and it looks good with the gun. So that's important to me. I know it's not important with some people, but to me it is. 
Magpul angle foregrip. This is the angle foregrip two. The angle foregrip two was chosen uh, mostly because it it's a, actually a bit larger than the original angle foregrip. And my hands, uh, I have really large palms, so it makes it a little bit more comfortable for me. Now, I do have a Picatinny rail at the bottom that I attach this with because the original angle for grip is M-Lock. And this the thing I'm going to next, this Pasquet Sapper is also M-Lock. But I really like the way this feels. So, moving on, the Pasque Sapper. The Pasque Sapper and I went really back and forth in our relationship as I actually liked the original CZ Scorpion design. The only problem is the original CZ Scorpion design loses front sight capability by having that weird, well, not even weird because I like it, by having that angle. So I put this on here begrudgingly and ended up falling in love with it, how it looks. Now that it's on there, it feels like it belongs there. It makes the weapon look nice. And it actually, a lot of people, when I post pictures of it, keep thinking it's a MP5 or something like that. And to me, they look nothing alike, but I think my gun looks better, but I'm also biased. But that's pretty much the whole weapon. Is your better angle of it. I know it was kind of dark at first. But quick rundown. SB Tactical Brace. Apex Tactical Grip and Safeties. Hollow Sun 510C. Manicore Arms. 32 round magazine. HB Industries. Theta Forward Trigger. And the trigger kit which you can't see. Mad pull mag release. Pass K Sapper Handguard. Olight Vacuary Mini. Mag pull angle four grip. Two. I don't think this weapon is gonna get much better than this. I would absolutely recommend that you look into those companies. And if you like what you see, go ahead and get one. I'll check y'all later. See you.